How's everybody doing? This is AKA Onstar, and welcome to another week of Battle Mag, where we try to confuse Battlefield 3 for another game altogether. This week we are covering the Sever SMG The Vipera 2, or it's Battlefield 3 Twin The PP19. Now, this gun has a bit of a stigma in Mag. It's part of the whole Sever you know, noob overpowered gun thing, and understandably, it's got the largest SMG magazine capacity, it rivals some of the light machine guns, and it's got an extremely fast rate of fire and very good damage, since it's a, a sever weapon, it's got very, very high damage. So all this combined to give sever a very, very strong gun right out of the gates when the game launched. So this helped build the the whole sever is overpowered and you know that's why two-thirds of the players in the game are sever I, I don't know the exact numbers don't don't sue me but when I played sever I can agree it's a very strong weapon you unlock it at level five now with the new um, with the system they put in place with uh, one of the big patches about a year ago or so um, and so it's very simple. You don't have to do anything special to unlock it. You just level 5, open up. Now, it was a very strong gun, very decent accuracy for an SMG, which was allowed you to get you know some pretty good medium-range shots. Um, there are only two attachments authorized within the project, and that's the, the close-range sight, the uh, red dot, or the Cobra for Battlefield, and the Suppressor. Now, both of these in MAG can be very helpful. The, the Iron Sights are okay in MAG, but they're not the best, so you don't have you can use Red Dot to really help. Uh, suppressor <laughs> made that thing a freaking beast, because you could just run around for days and not have to reload. Um, in Battlefield 3, it's pretty much the same thing. It has a bit more damage drop off than its mag brother, but even with the suppressor, you can still get some work done. As uh, you'll see in the gameplay, this was a uh, TDM I was playing on, and with the suppressor, and if you play tactically, you know, if you if you use your head and flank and whatnot, you can actually get some massive work done with this thing because of the, the the large ammo capacity, and with the suppressor, you're staying off the radar. So, nope, they don't know where you are unless, you know, someone says, hey, wait a minute, there's a guy behind me who just died. What's going on here? And turns around, you know, you can get some sneaking work done. Now, the... I was playing this map, this game, with uh, the ammo kit. So, you'll know this later on. I'll run out of ammo and be like, oh, crap, uh, ammo kit, and replenish, because you can with the rate of fire, you can tear through ammo really quick, which helps compensate for the large, um, the large magazine capacity. But overall, this is a very strong gun, e even with the damage drop off that it has. It's a very powerful gun if you use it properly. Um, the iron sights are okay in battlefield. Um, I prefer. The, uh, the Cobra, anyway, on it, just for the better uh, range, uh, target acquisition. But, you know, I really like it. It's one of my favorites um, out of the PDW SMG uh, kit selection. And it, it's a really strong gun. I like it a lot. But, you know, let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, so it's a lot of fun, but this has been AKA Onstar. Hope you all had fun.